Welcome back everyone and it's Cardinal Smith here. Welcome to another Let's Play of Football Manager 2014. And we're back and I've gone through the pre-season now with the Graf Schaap in the, uh, the lower Dutch league. And we're ready for the first match of the season with my funny looking tactics. Um, so I, I spent a long time actually working on the squad and just getting everyone into the right position really um, right wing's a bit of an issue uh, this guy very fast very good winger but he's just not quite comfortable playing a little deeper uh, he, I'm training him up uh, to become more you know used to that position and you know I'm not even sure if this is my strongest side but uh, you know I, I'm gonna find out by playing it's, it's what I can do in terms of signings, I have we had a bit of a clear out. Um, I've only signed two players. Um, I need an, another defender, 24-year-old Mike van der Koy. Yeah, getting used to the Dutch names. And the I signed a director of football who then uh, brought this uh, extra winger to my attention. He's not particularly fast, but... You know, a lot of flair, great passing, tackling. More of a wide midfielder, and that actually suits my tactics. Um, go, we had a bit of a drama with this guy. Very good midfielder. Well, you know, good midfielder for this level. Just said, uh, there's a team uh, came in the same division as us, offered just £60,000. And I was like, no, no way, reject it. And they, this guy was like, why didn't you... Why didn't you, uh, you know, let me speak to the team? Why didn't you accept that? I was like, because you're not going anywhere. And he fell out with me. I told him he's been unprofessional. He said he wanted to leave. So I tried to offer him out for a huge price. Uh, then I tried to offer him for free, and nobody would take him for some reason, mainly because he was being a bitch. Uh, so I released him. I just outright sacked him. And look at his smug face. Yeah, out of the... So basically, uh, he was bringing down morale as well. It, w it was really bad. Uh, that's generally all the updates I'm going to do now. I'm going to go into the match, uh, which I've been looking forward to. This is the first match of the season. Oh, I've once liked to... Oh, I need to give a, uh, a kit number to this winger. Let's give him number 15. That was the guy who left when... That was the guy who left. Uh, kit number. Alright, so it's going to be obviously a little different uh, from Football Manager 2013. Uh, I'm, also, I'm also playing on the full mode, the, uh, the proper Football Manager uh, mode. So this should be interesting. Some opposition instructions. I'll just ask, uh, ask for advice there. Um, I usually put my own uh, set wingers, or basically tell my players to uh, show their opposition wingers onto their foot. So basically, they they don't get, you know, their wingers aren't be able to use their preferred foot to cross the ball in or anything. My team talk here. Um, my assistant says we should put up, be able to put out a better performance last time. I don't know what he's talking about because this is my first match with the team. Oh well, actually, the, we did just lose to Stoke 5-0, but that was a friendly. Uh, so, we're away from... Yeah. I, I mean, I'm going to go assertive, and I'm going to say... Yeah, I'm expecting... A, well, no, come on, lads, show me what you can do. Alright. Uh, not any major reaction there. Um, let's say, I believe you've got what it takes... I believe you've got what it takes. I believe you've got what it takes. That's it. Lots of greens there. Morale going up. Looked happy. That's a bit more like it. Let's get into the very first game. Oh, and we are playing in a uh, 3D match mode. You know what? One second. It's just better to record it, you know, maybe on the not in 3D, but the usual dots. So I'm going to head and change this. Hey, welcome back. Just a quick change of the settings there, and here we are. First match! We are in the blue with the white ring, and uh, the opposition are in the orange. 
and they're straight in the attack here. Now, I must say, the team are not used to my tactics whatsoever, and there's an instant goal conceded uh, from Per Martin. And I guess uh, one of the other things I should note is I do play three at the back this time, um, three central defenders, and they just easily got a cross in, uh, which because I have no fullbacks to take them to look after them. And I'm putting a lot of faith in this tactic, and that's worrying as they hit the post. Uh, so it's you know basically the idea is the midfield run they're box to box. They run back and forth, left and right, and that is easy. Total bad marking there, and nobody covering the striker with a fantastic finish. And Volendam are 2 0 up at this early stage. Warning, warning signs everywhere. Uh, so, there's a yellow card for one of their players. Some of the players here are looking furious, and that's our captain, you know. I expect him. I expect the captain to be absolutely composed, determined, not swayed by too much by the match. But uh, he's oh now we've got an injured too. A right winger. Uh, well, luckily we have another you know, on the pit in the bench. So um, I'm gonna need a lot better. Oh, I just told him the expected performance. You should never tell a new signing coming on his debut that you expect performance because it puts him under so much pressure. And this is away from home as well. Um, I expect to see a much passionate this time. I expect to see a much, much better showing from you in the second half. That was god awful. Uh, and I am disappointed. I am disappointed. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's, there's very little else I can say there. I mean, a really disappointing first half. And I'm expecting these guys to go out, show me something else. In fact, even just give me a, show me a chance that they're making an effort. Bahitri out wide here, just coming on. Plays it through to our Spanish attacking midfielder, who I haven't quite nailed the name yet. Uh, Vincent Vermeerge. Alright, 60 minutes gone. Very little happening here. A uh, terrible defensive performance going on here at the back. Let's bring on one of our, bring on our new defender and wonder who else I could bring on. Uh, Sandy Holst. He's a, a slightly older striker. And you know, eventually we'll get to know the team. Obviously, I don't know the team that well right now. You know, I, I, getting used to their strengths. Who's good? Who's not good at all? And and it's going to take time. Anyway, we made these changes, and here we go. Where I've got the ball. Van de Pavart. <laughs> Peridi. Meyer in the middle. Garcia. With the ball. Playing it out wide to Lazix. Now, Lazix seems a wee bit of a pacey guy, and he runs up the left wing. Crosses, uh, crosses in, hits the bar. And Bahitri knocks it out. Um, you know what? It was a half chance. Not much more than that, but at least we had a bit of possession. Bidri a long throw in here and a uh, pass back, so he, off he goes. He's playing well actually. Garcia plays at Hurst and Hurst gives her the ball straight away. Really didn't need to do that whatsoever. And here they come attacking down the left, and that's that that's an easy pick up for our goalkeeper. And I must say I'm actually not using our first choice, the co the coach's first choice keeper. I'm using a 18 year old who's predict. They, they uh, say he's going to be a fantastic player in the future, and so I'm giving him experience now, and hopefully it'll help him develop quicker. And Shilder, uh, Baldum player up ends one of my players. This is it going to be a card? Uh, gives the referee gives the benefit of the doubt. Great. Um, <laughs> even maybe even the referee sees this game is over. Van Kuwen with a free kick here doesn't make the most of it. Short plays it. Bahitri on the right wing, crosses it here to Hulst, who can't get it through, and Garcia knocks the ball in. And that is a lifeline. I say to the players, I want to see something different, and I have seen mostly just uh, just attacks from our our team. That is, hopefully, a good omen. And, and you know, the tactics are all about working hard. Uh, everybody's got to put in the miles. And if they, I'm seeing that in the fitness, the, a lot of players down to the 60%. But this is the first game of the season, and fitness is going to be an issue. 
and until they play a few games. So it could be a rough start to the season. Lazic here with a throw in. The referee blows the whistle. It's a disappointing defeat. Um, but what's more disappointing was the first half performance. And I can see some of the players ran uh, 8.5 miles out there today. 7.6 miles. They really put an effort in uh, in terms of running. But I'm not happy with the performance out there. Uh, I'm disappointed with your efforts to control mid field. I mean, yeah, especially this guy, Frank Van Kuhlen. I'm not pleased with what I saw from you tonight. Uh, and you're the captain as well. Um, so I've got to rethink. Yeah, some I'm picking out some players individually. Not always a great idea, but it seems to be having an okay. I'm not pleased. How can you be pleased with that? So, uh, disappointing first match with the Graf Shop. Um, there's not much else we can do there um, ex except the defeat. And that's a... You know, it's going to be a long season though. Let me just check how many games of the season. we got 38 games. That's the first of the season. And there we are, down 14th. We're just going to have to make a big, a lot of changes. That's going to be a lot of players' uh, debuts. Um, and I'm going to have to talk to the team because morale is super low. Um, there isn't a simple reason to hold a team meeting. Just let me have a team meeting. Never mind. Well, I'm going to have to digest this, come back for, for another game, and see if you know, a bit more fitness is going to produce anything. You can see my preseason didn't go so great, so that wasn't going to help morale anyway. Two defeats and two draws in the last four games. And there we start off with a defeat in my first my first game of the career as well. But, you know, our next game's at home. Maybe make a difference. Alright, everyone. Thanks for watching. Like if you like. Peace.